Hello, I'm Adam Simmons, and today on The Secret Guide to Fabulous Living, we're talking all about me. What makes me unique, or what makes me qualified? Well, the first part of that is, I'm gay. So if anything else, I've got a good eye, and I know what I'm doing. What do I do now? I'm an interior designer here in Los Angeles, California. I've traveled the world, gone from Hong Kong to the Middle East to all the capitals of Europe and all over South America to get a true sense and a true style for interior design. Hello, my name is Adam Simmons and on today's Guide to Fabulous Living, we're talking about a Hollywood celebrity who's just recently scooped up one of the hottest properties in Marina Del Rey, Taylor Kitsch from Friday Night Lights. This chic urban loft features an island kitchen, one bedroom, one bath, and sold for a cool $703,000. That's a lot of money for a little loft, but when you're a celebrity, you can bankroll it. As a bachelor, what would we do to make that somewhere he'd want to bring people back to? Whether they be dates, whether they be friends, or whether they just be somebody he wants to have sex with. I'm just saying. Well, let's make sure it's not too feminine. So I'd probably start with a more masculine color palette. After all, he is a bachelor and he doesn't want it to look too frou-frou or way too feminine. It'll be a sure turn off to any lady or guy that he's planning on bringing home. Let's face it, every bachelor needs a good gay designer. And I wouldn't mind being that guy. Hello, I'm Adam Simmons, and today on The Secret Guide to Fabulous Living, we're talking about little how-to tips, if you will. So, how to spruce up your curb and spruce up your house at the same time. Well, here's an idea. How about plant herbs outside, fragrant herbs, that help you do two things at once. You get a great hedge, and you get a house that smells good, all for pretty much the same cost of flowers or rocks, if not less. So just use this, wipe your hands, toss it out, Hopefully you won't get arrested because it's not my house. I'm just saying. But anyways, either way, you've got a great curb, you've got a house that smells good, you've got food that tastes good, all for just a little bit of work. I'm Adam Simmons, and for The Secret Fabulous Life Of, it's been fun, I've enjoyed every minute of it, but right now, I've got other things to do. I'm gonna go scope out the hot neighbor that just walked by. So we'll see you on the next go-round. For Living LA, I'm Adam Simmons. And unless you've been living under a rock lately, you probably know it's a serious buyer's market where curb appeal means everything. If buyers don't like what they see on the outside, chances are you'll never get them on the inside. According to the National Association of Realtors, more than 74% of people go online to view images of homes they'd like to see. So remember, first impressions mean everything. Here's a few quick, easy tips to make a good first impression. Remember, you need a clean house. Be sure to pick up things from outside the yard. Make sure your house sparkles. Another tip to get buyers through the front door is to make sure you have a manicured lawn. And that's easy. All you have to do is cut the grass, make sure there's no debris or trash in the yard, and if you have fresh flowers, plant them. Get them in the ground so that everyone can see how perfect your lawn is. And finally, don't forget the importance of a fresh coat of paint. It can make a world of difference. Thanks for watching. I'm Adam Simmons for Living LA. My design philosophy is to keep it simple, use high quality materials, and mix and match from what you already have to create a showcase home. To transform the living room, we started with the floors, which were previously a light oak color. We decided to stain them a darker color just to give them a little bit more pop and a little bit more modern edges. Another thing we decided to do was to raise the ceiling. When the house was first purchased, all it had was nine foot ceilings. So we raised it up to 13 feet in a tray ceiling configuration to give it more dimension, more height. The biggest challenge in the media room was to take an old addition, which looked more like a garage, and actually make it feel like a media room. So we had to replace the carpet, we had to add new paint, and then we had to bring the light into the room and reconfigure the space so it really felt like a true media room. If you're looking for ways to spruce up your outdoor patio, it's really easy to do. I'm just finishing up a job here at a West Hollywood home, and the way to start is to start with fresh flowers that you purchase from your local florist, grocery store, or even hardware store. For as little as about a dollar a bunch. Then you need the right tools to get them in the ground. Apart from getting them in the ground, you need some mulch or some potting soil to make sure they actually live. And then the last thing you need is some water, just to keep them healthy and get them started. So there you have it. Fresh plants and a softer look, all in a few easy steps.
thousands of pageants that happen all around the world. Okay. Our pageants for pregnancy, drag queen, plus size, wheelchair, it's, Miss Tattoo America. I mean, it's crazy, but <laughs> whether you're two weeks old, and yes, we have been to pageants with, where there are two week olds. Carry the baby. All the way up to Miss <laughs> Senior Citizen, 99 years old, in a retirement <laughs> home. I'm Tara Darby, and I was Miss Alabama, USA, 2004. I'm Christina Nardozzi, Miss Massachusetts, USA, 2005. So we've been on that stage. We've had the crowns on our heads doing our own pageant waves, so we're winners ourselves. Exactly. We know what they're going through and what they're about to go through as well. Best friends, pageant coaches, business partners, and sashes and crowns. You never go into business with family. You probably shouldn't go into business with your best friend, but it could be a nightmare. But to us, it is a dream <laughs> it is. job. The yin yeah. and the yang. We're so proud about sashes and crowns. Nobody's going to meet us and not hear about our business. But when we tell people what we do, <laughs> they're like, what are you talking about? We get about? some looks. 56 minutes until showtime. We have to tell him we'll he can't be late anymore. No. If Christina's freaking out, chances are I want to freak out too, but I can't. We haven't had a double freak out yet, and I hope that never happens. Uh, we get close. Oh my god, I need the sign-in sheets for the photographer. If he's 20 minutes away. We have to make those signs for the boards, because there's nothing. Okay. Do we even have a dry erase and mar marker? Calm down. <laughs> we do, we do everything, everything together. together. <laughs> we even finish each other's sentences most it's of the time. True. It's kind of scary. <laughs> we carpool together. We obviously do all of our business together. Hopefully in the near future, we'll both be getting pregnant at the same time. <laughs> we have to have babies at the same time. So everyone enters the pageant for a different reason. Maybe they just lost 50 pounds because they had their first child. Or maybe they recently divorced yeah. and they want to show that they are a hot mama or a hot cougar. So it's not just about being beautiful on the outside. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! You know, the girls and the guys, they need to authentically radiate beauty from within. When they have zero confidence yeah. coming in to us. I feel like a tomboy most of the time, so yeah. I, I want to feel pretty. Or the clients that have to work out, and we have oh to break gosh. it to them. We don't want you to feel this way in four months, because if this is four months, are you going to feel ready to be in a bikini? No. Come here, we'll show on stage. We deal with girls that have enormously large breasts and bad self-confidence issues. You can be you can put on a bikini right now and walk up on the stage and feel good to do. Your body is ready, like you're beautiful. And they have to feel beautiful. And a lot of times they'll come to us, they're gorgeous on the outside, but there has to be an inner confidence. So it's our job to transform these girls and these guys from the inside out. Why are you hiding? What are you trying to hide? Oh, nothing. Thanks. You Look have been that. totally covering up and hiding uh, all your yeah, assets. Yeah, yeah. Because when you smile, your whole oh my face God. lightens it up. It totally changes. California. You guys are so great. You're so, I mean, it's so warm <laughs> and sweet how you're coaching me. And then they leave like they're a queen already without that title, which really makes us feel so great about what we're doing. You look beautiful. Right, so you look stunning. How yes. do you feel? I feel very pretty. Thank you. Very feminine, cool. yeah. very hot. We cannot be sashes and crowns. We're not complete without our team. I have the personality, the design, the lifestyle guru, the best friend, and um, obviously here for all of you. Oh, Adam is our oh project gosh, manager. Adam. Welcome to Hi, Beauty baby. Boot Camp. He's so awesome. He helps us with everything. He's constantly helping us with clients or workshops, always with a good attitude and a smile. Oh. He steals some of our clients, like the cute guys that come in. I know. Yeah. Is that a conflict of interest? I don't know. <laughs> our makeup artist is actually my cousin Chelsea. The babies, the boobs, the makeup, I mean, she's an awesome. For anything. She happens to be mother of two and our fabulous hair and makeup stylist. Unbelievable. <laughs> so as I'm spraying her, the nozzle was the opposite way when she turned her back, so there was lines. I'm like, oh my gosh. And then there's our trainer. Andy. <laughs> I'm not real nice. I'm going to probably give some of you some honest critiques because I see people that need a lot of work in this room. If you don't like it, there's the door. I'm here to help you win. Okay, with a show of hands, who thinks Yvonne looks like a guy? She looks like a dude. No. I mean, seriously. No. I don't know. I think that there will be a firing of Andy at some point because I don't like the way he puts the girls down. What type of pageant are you doing? Is there pole dancing involved in it? You know what, no. Andy? Okay, we're gonna cut we're you off. We're done. He's a little rough around the edges. He definitely shows our clients some tough love when he's helping them whip them into bikini shape. Right, I mean, the results are there. I think Tara is more of a fan of Andy than I am. The greatest reward for us is when we have a client that really has a huge transformation. 
Pageant pinky promise. <laughs> mm -hmm. There is no pageant too big or too small. We will take on any client. So people come to us, obviously, to win the pageant, but they gain a lot more than that. I'm taking the oh time. my god, Tara! Oh my god. I can't handle it anymore!